We've been telling you about these warnings from the FBI director that terrorists are determined to strike America and our allies very, very soon. And we know some of the very people fighting on the side of the jihadis are Americans. Yet the FBI director now says these people, whom he says we have specifically identified, can travel freely back to the United States. Seriously, listen. How many Americans are fighting in Syria on the side of the terrorists? In the area of a dozen or so. Do you know who they are? Yes. Each and every one of them? I think of that uh, dozen or so I do. Uh, I hesitate only because I don't know uh, what I don't know. With American passports, how do you keep them from coming home and attacking the homeland? Ultimately, an American citizen, unless their passport's revoked, is entitled to come back. So uh, someone who's fought with ISIL with an American passport wants to come back, um, we will track them very carefully. Oh, great. Judge Andrew Napolitano is our Fox News senior judicial analyst. So they're going to, they were, they were in Syria fighting with our enemies against us and against our allies. And yet we're going to track them carefully when we allow them to come back in the United States. Why can't, can we charge them with treason, Judge? Well, I'm shaking my head because I, like you, like most people in the legal community, have a great deal of respect for Jim Comey, the FBI director. And what he said earlier in your first segment was true and profound, and I'm glad he said it. But he, he forgot that there's a statute called providing material assistance to a terrorist organization. So if he knows that Americans have been fighting with ISIS, and he also knows that the Secretary of State has declared ISIS a terrorist organization, that is more than enough evidence for him to arrest them upon their re-entry into the U.S. It is crazy to let them back in and wait and see what they do. It's also a waste of FBI resources. And the, the director, most respectfully, he's a fine lawyer and a wonderful person, should be aware of that. Well, and who knows whether he's setting policy on this, but it is crazy. So we, we've identified them by name fighting in Syria with ISIS, a terrorist organization. And we are going to track them carefully when they come back into America with their U.S. passports. I looked it up. You know what? The Secretary of State can revoke your passport or at least limit it, revoke or limit it, they say, when, for example, they determine that you are in arrears of child support payments. <laughs> child support, Judge. Right. That, no, that they can take your passport away, but if you take up the jihad with ISIS, we're just gonna track you carefully. You know, I, I have a problem with his being hung up on the issue of the passport. The issue is not the passport. The issue is their freedom to move around in the United States of America after they have left training for some terrorist organization, which is in and of itself a federal crime. That is more than enough to arrest them, charge them, indict them, and keep them from traveling free around the United States, whether they have a passport passport or not. He knows he can arrest them at JFK or, or, or Dulles or anywhere they first land in the United States and they'll never be free because a grand jury right. will indict them immediately. Right, because the other thing that you can revoke somebody's passport on, if you want to go back to the passports, is if there's an outstanding federal arrest warrant for the person holding the passport. So why don't we just get arrest warrants going out for these ISIS fighters, the Americans who went jihadi on us, and arrest them when they return to the United States? If he knows who they are, as he says he does, and I accept him at his word. He says that, he does, right? That he is, says he does. That is more than enough for his agents to file an application for an arrest warrant, and it will be granted. And then they would be not? held in jail until they were indicted. Is it, is it treason? A lot of the viewers think that this is treason. Technically, it is not treason. The Constitution of the United States provides a very high bar for treason. It, provi it means that you provided aid and comfort to the enemy by fighting against the United States. And the enemy is what Congress has declared, not what Barack Obama has declared as the enemy. So the president, by refusing to seek a declaration of war against these people, has taken treason off the table. Unbelievable. Judge, good to see you. Good to be with you, Megan.